I am Dr. Raghunandan Bhavyan Dorsaikar. I am practicing dermatologist since last about 35 years in Mumbai. I have come across so many skin conditions which are very common ones. One of them, major one, is acne vulgaris. Vulgaris is meaning common one. Acne is one of the things which comes as a blemish on the face and which can be easily seen as a passing kind of thing. When we are worried about our looks, acne becomes a major problem to be taken care of. Usually it so happens that a blemish comes and a child who is going into an adult tries to think that you know, we have to take it off and try to squeeze it off. And it, in turn that can give rise to so many other problems like black spots on the face. Sometimes they go to the chemist, ask for some cream, some creams are given. Sometimes it can contain steroid which can give rise to aggravation of the acne. What is acne? Acne is normal condition which is called as pimples. But the acne they have got variety of levels starting from first, second, third and fourth as per the intensity of the acne. If it is grade one then it is only small uh, blemish which is there on the face which comes as a papu which is a slight elevation which can be either whitehead or blackhead. What is that black spot? That is supposed to be a sebaceous gland which is secreting the oily secretion on the face so that if there is a sebaceous secretion is too much that can give rise to oiliness of the skin. If the sebaceous secretion becomes thicker it doesn't come out of follicle and if it becomes too thick it doesn't come out but it becomes blockage and there is along with that there is a dead keratinous skin skin pug, pug function which is totally not uh, dry but that can give rise to blockage and that dead keratinous tissue becomes blackish in discoloration. So if the hormones are too many that can give rise to extra amount of secretion so that becomes a bigger papule that can give rise to slightly more aggravated kind of skin lesion that can become grade 2 lesion then if it is too intense it becomes inflamed that can become third grade and fourth grade is cystic acne cystic acne in the sense the lesions become too nodulous how do you treat uh, there are medicines which are there in allopathy which can be consumed with the doctor's prescription and doctor's advice so that you know proper medicine is given and the healing of the lesions takes place faster sometimes it can be associated with the dandruff which is present in the scalp which can give rise to certain lesions which are there on the forehead and cheek we call it as pterosporum folliculitis if the lesions are that way the treatment differs a little bit similar lesions can be seen on the chest as well as on the back so if the treatment is given it should be given for all these three areas treatment part medicines once they are consumed with the doctor's advice it will give rise to reduction in the sebum secretion it can reduce the blockages along with oral medication there are certain topical medication in the form of face washes and the creams to be applied above or and above that so all these things together can help there are so many face washes which cleans the skin very dry and if we use a face wash which is gentle on the skin which contains yashtimadu aloe vera neem those kind of herbal medicines they have some kind of effect on the skin to keep the suppleness intact cleansing is quite done properly one can also have a proper application of the creams don't squeeze the lesions completely so that you know once you try to squeeze the lesions there is a bleeding in the root cause of those acne lesions which can give rise to blackish spots and that can give rise to aggravation of the lesions Early treatment can give rise to proper improvement which can heal the skin in a proper way so the skin remains blemish free. But along with that there are certain things that you have to follow that is proper exercise. Proper exercise in mean even simple things like uh, say Surya Namaskar in a daily fashion as a routine. You can fit it into your routine in such a way that you know the circulation all over the body remains intact, your body tone remains proper your secretions remain balanced so you don't have to take lot many medicines 
along with that one has to see that you can also see that really? along with that you can see that uh, proper nutrients are taken up there are certain uh, nutrients which are vitamin a d e c b all those vitamins multiple vitamins they are to be consumed in the form of vegetables and proper balanced diet along with exercise these all these diet in, uh, intake will be definitely helping the skin structures to follow in a proper way taking too much of oily food taking too much of chocolates and other things junk foods can give rise to aggravation of the lesions in ladies during menstrual period or previous to menstrual period one can get some flare up of the lesions because of the hormonal activity which one can't really prevent much but as i said if you take proper care of yourself all these acne form lesions which come they will not come in your way and they can heal very fast very properly take proper medication that's all